in this video, I bought a Crash AMG. Oh no, sorry, not that one, but this one. See, I got it for 20, I take 17 and a half. The idea is to fix it up. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Get it back on the board and flip it for a profit. Or at least I thought until I tried to sell it to WeBuyAnyCar.com and it offered me. Right, so with it being a cat S, the new starter price. All of that and more is coming up in this video. <laughs> Got the TT. Right, this is me at the yard. I'm gonna show you what other salvage cars they had in the yard and then I'll show you the big boy that we're picking up in this video. Guys. S4, S5. I don't really care about cars. I'm only doing this for a video. Quickly, do you lot think this guy came out this car okay? Because the car is mush up. Part of this. Bad boy. Oh. Alright, it's time for me to show you look the car. Basically, that was the primary damage. I mean, there's other things, but that was primarily the main damage. And this is the Mercedes A Class 2008 in A200 AMG. It's not the premium. I left out a very important deal. This car is a cut S. And I know a lot of you lot are gonna be like, why, 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 why? bro? Just hear me up. It just got some. Look, actually, this is the damage. Even the S4, same start, just obviously a bit of front and back end. Yeah. Sure See, I got it for 20, I take 17 and a half. 20 red, S4, 15, 6,000 miles, one on the new. Yeah. Uh, you have black edition. The last one I had, I sold for 22. Um, no, 60, I think 60 or 4 is 60. But it's one on the new, all motorway miles. No suspension, nothing on the back, just that front uh, suspension. How, how many owners on this one? I think it's one previous owner, you know. How many keys you got for One key for this. Most of the car, the only car got two keys for is a Range Rover and his ID and everything else just has one. But you know, just in general, like obviously I buy and sell here. You know, anytime you buy a car, obviously if you come with two keys, two keys, if not, just always delete the key. Yep. I ended up buying the car and I'm gonna walk you through why I, I think it's a good purchase and I, why I think we can still make money on this car, right? The mileage in the car is only 30,000. I don't know a lot about cars, but from what I know, 30,000 is actually really good for a car. That's one of the reasons why I actually ended up buying it because I think 30,000 is not too bad. And the other reason is, when you look around, I'll show you now. When you look at this, right, it's a car S because the car I bought is a car S as well. And this is a car S and they're selling for about £13,800. So for what I paid, which I'm going to tell you on later on in the video, I still think there is room for us to actually make some money if we can keep the repairs under £2,000. £2,000. Yep. I might have slightly gone over that budget. Right. All I needed to repair was the right suspension, the driver wing, the front bumper, and the headlight. But I'm not gonna bore you with all of the repair videos, so. This is the car after all the essential repairs have been done. And I say essential because not everything is well, but we're gonna get into that in a minute. For now, let's just get it washed. Right. 
right so now the car has been washed properly and i'm happy with how the car actually looks look i'll show you around the car and then i'll show you the small 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 things that are not right and then i'll show you the problems that the car has because the car is not a hundred percent just yet just not yet but it's just small small things that need to be redone i'll show you starting off i think it's called the underwheel arch or something it still needs to go in there i don't know if something has to be here but a hundred percent i don't think this should be like this so this light needs to be aired out it shouldn't be that there should be no water inside there it should it should look this clean yep we got this bad boy i know we got that bad boy what is is dirty oops and then inside just so beautiful in, inside here man nah i could honestly i could sit here for like time just to look at how beautiful this place is so now when you put it on this is when you actually see the faults look the first fault that is going to bring up is you got the active bonnet mode function and then you got this one as well right so there's that active bonnet mode function so i'll close that out and then there's another one that's going to come up auxiliary battery malfunction i don't know what that means but i guess it's something to do with the battery we also got um for some reason the tire pressure even when you feel it it still comes back as there's a fault with the tire pressure it's not bringing it up now but i'll show you look at one point when i'm driving it will probably bring up <clears throat> right so quickly i'm gonna go through the numbers it's gonna be really quickly but this is gonna be how much of spent how much do we buy the car just, just starting off the car cost nine thousand five hundred i asked you a lot on my community post how much you reckon it would be and a lot of you said it would be that much so the car cost me nine thousand five hundred right i genuinely want to know what you lot think like did i overpay for the car did i get a deal like let me know in the comment section now that i get to think about it i still think the car was actually worth nine thousand five hundred because i've seen worse i've seen similar cars in worse condition going for about 12 grand 13 grand so i still think i got a deal with nine thousand five hundred and then because the car could not drive it cost 200 pound to tow it from where it was to the mechanic and then we we got a full suspension leg and that one cost 350 pounds i know we got the antro bar that was 20 pounds i know we got the wing and that was um 120 pounds and then we got the front bumper because that whole bumper was was just was pointless we had to change it as well so the bumper was 150 and then the driver side headlight that was 230 pounds and then <clears throat> we also got the wheel and that wheel was 100 pound and then we got brake caliper for 50 pounds and then cost for the logbook was 25 pound and then the tracking because it was a bit off so we needed to track it again and that was 40 pound and then like fuel expenses up and down london everywhere it was 80 pounds and then there was a bumper grill that was 40 pounds and then after they did all of these we dropped the car for a couple of days but the car kept getting the car kept overheating so we took it back to the mechanic and then the mechanic said it was the radiator fan that needed to be changed so that cost 150 pounds right so as as it stands the whole project has cost eleven thousand fifty five pound now that we know that the car cost us eleven thousand let's take it to we buy any car to come and see how much they'll offer us are you open or you're you closed yeah, right. right do you buy cut cars Buy... Card card, it's a card S. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Do you want to have a look at it? I have a couple of yeah. Have you done a quote online? No, I haven't. This is first, the first, first time, time. yeah. Put your agent yeah, online. and I'll be honest with you, it's a card S. Yeah, so I just want to be honest. I don't want you to it think... will bring it up anyway. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So... I don't know, we might, we might get lucky and there might be some service history because 
I've had it for about two months. I've just been busy. I don't know if this is service history in here or it's just a, a user guide. No, I don't think there's service history in here. But So, you know if you had service history, does that mean you give me more money for it? Yeah. So if we don't have any, it's not the end of the world. It just means there'll be a factor to get into it. Okay, fair enough. Right. So your starting valuation, this isn't including the cat S at the minute, right. is eighteen thousand three hundred seventy five. And then the fact that well, it's a card. We've got your cat S. So once we do your HPI check in a minute, we'll bring all that stuff back. Okay. Um, and I'll get you a new. new a new quote. Yeah. Okay. Right, so with it being a cat S, the new starter price is 9350 Whoa! So it's, it's you said 9000 what? Yeah, 9350 9, is the new starter. 9300 I think it was. Um, right. But we'll put in the condition of the vehicle. Um, right. And then it'll give us a new quote. A new quote then. So, price after everything then, with no history for the vehicle and the cat S and the. Um, Damages around the vehicle is four thousand two hundred and thirty six. Yep, you had them. We buy any car that come is willing to give me four thousand two hundred thirty six pounds, and I'm still baffled. I don't know. I don't know. I want you lot to let me know in the comment section if you think that's a fair price, and I genuinely want to know how much I should sell the car. Let me know how much I should list it for. Also, if you're new here and you enjoy the content, it would mean a lot to me if you just like and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you next week.